Hey guys, I just got a haircut. I kind of switched it up, having like a little bit of a line. I didn't want it shaved in, but basically we had this, we got this going on. I still want it to be kind of like a faux hawk. I like it. Today is a special day because the Gats gets to go to the park for the first time ever. Go outside. He got all of his shots. Are you happy? Are you excited? You get to go outside. I actually have a really, really busy day today. So, um, I'm gonna try to get him as tired as possible so he doesn't bother me while I do my work. You excited? And it's a sweltering 91 degrees outside right now. You're gonna get really hot, huh? Getting ready to leave. Finally. Wanna show everyone how you can take the stairs now? Good job. I'm so proud of you. Good dog. Walking on the ground. Outside. Just checking out all the stores. He's in freedom! Ooh. I haven't been to this park since I went with Bentley, which was like over half a year ago or so. This is where I used to play with Bentley over here. I don't know if you guys remember that. We used to throw the ball and run away and hide. <laughs> Guess where we made it to? The park! The park! Oh, grass! It's the park! It looks different. I think they like cut down the trees or something. Are you enjoying the park? Yeah? I guess what? You can poop and pee over here. I guess I gotta start potty training him outside to go outside now. How's it going? You guys see? Look, there's a squirrel. Bentley would be going crazy for that. Hanging out in the shade. As if there's not enough distraction. I don't think he's gonna even care, but I brought him this. Hi! Can you bring it? Can you get it? Bring it back! Bring it back! Come on! Little baby Gatsby. Woo! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yes! Good dog! Good dog! Oh, he's walking pretty well with me now. That was a really long playtime. I hope you're gonna be really tired now. This guy is pooped out. <laughs> Have a nice rest. Oh, I have to get back to work now. Oh my gosh. I turned on the air condition. Air condition on a hot day. The best luxury ever. It feels so luxurious to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm from Hawaii. Look what came in the mail today. I think this is my Wii U. Yay! It is my Wii U! Woo! So I've just been doing work and just staring at this for so long. <laughs> anyway, if you guys wanted to know what I got, I got the refurbished Wii U because the refurbished Wii U was pretty cheap from Nintendo. I ordered this from Nintendo. It only cost me $200. comes with Nintendo Land and it's the 32 gigabyte one. I decided to do it this way because 200 bucks, that's like the same price as the 3DS. That's like so ridiculously cheap. And also since I had traded my games, my Pokemon games to GameStop for a hundred bucks, which I don't even know how I did that. I was like, I can get extra games for that. That's how I got my Mario Kart 8. So I saved 130 bucks. <laughs> Nintendo refurbishes it and cleans it and makes it pretty much like it's a totally new system. Hey Gatsby. See, it looks totally new. I should always just buy refurbished stuff from Nintendo from now on. Look at this. It looks totally new. You wouldn't even be able to tell that this was like a used system. So this is the Wii U. This is the gamepad. The plugins. So I guess I have to set this up later, but I have so much work to do, so I gotta get back to work. Just got out of the gym. I did a super, super rear delt workout. It was awesome. So I got back in the gym. Sorry, I didn't have a gym vlog today. I just kind of slipped my mind and I kind of left without filming. Anyway, I thought I would share with you something that's been working for me. I've been trying it out and I wanted to share with you guys because I've been getting a lot of like, wow, like what are you doing? I don't really see too much of people suggesting this tip. The tip that I've been working on pretty much all the time right now is working on my rear delts. That's like right over here. What that does is really helps to make your posture better. I have my puppy licking my leg. 
making your posture better helps you look a lot bigger and a lot taller and also look a lot better. I noticed that for me especially, since I've been working on my chest a lot, my shoulders and everything have been kind of like crawling in like this. So my posture has been actually pretty bad. And I noticed that whenever I would do like one or two rear delt workouts, immediately after doing it, my, my chest would really open up. So I thought that I would just try doing a full workout with only doing, just working on my rear delts the whole workout. I think that it worked really well and it definitely helps to pull my shoulders back and help my posture look a lot better. It helped make my chest seem bigger because it pushes everything forward. My shoulders look bigger. I think that it's actually a really cool thing to do. Reverse fly machines, a lot of those, if they have the ones with the bars where you can stick your elbows through and push back, those are really good. On the bench, what you do is you grab the dumbbells, have your thumbs out, and you pull back like that. I do some rope pulls like this, pulling towards my back. Super wide lat grips, rows with that, pulling that way. I think it's been working really well. I really like it, especially because a lot of people are like, wow, your body is like all of a sudden is transformed. I would not suggest only doing like one or two workouts. Like I know a lot of people just do one. If you actually do dedicate like at least four to five workouts for this, it can really, really help, especially if you don't have like the best posture just like me. So that's your gym tip for the day. He's taking the stairs down this time. Ooh, good dog. Get him go. So what you learn is people go crazy for corgis. Everyone's like. I've just been doing work all day, I'm sorry you guys. It's just like I've been having a really busy day for work. I do internet marketing stuff, as you guys know. I'm a marketing manager, that's what I do. I help manage my team and help build and develop stuff online, including the marketing copy and coming up with ideas and stuff. So that's what my job is. Anyway, um, I just left this out like this. I haven't even, I guess I'll start setting this up. But basically I took a look and look, this thing is like, it looks totally new. I'm on the Alumni Association Board for Cornell University, which is a school that I went to. They have a meetup. So I'm gonna go to that. So it'd be really cool to get to know and meet some of these people and network with them. So that's what I'm gonna do because the Bay Area is all about networking. I'm gonna check it out. See you guys there. Oh, and of course this is Bay Area traffic here. Craziness. Back to Palo Alto. This is where Jeremy Lin's from. Okay, I had to park like five blocks away. Anyway, I'm walking over right now, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to film too much because it is a networking event, so I don't really know these people, so I don't wanna to be too rude. I just got back from the networking event. Um, that was like the first time I ever felt young, like super young, because everybody there was so old. I just got back home, and I was really stupid. Apparently I locked him in here, but I left the gate open. He pooped and stuff, which was good in the right spot. I was like, okay, well, what damage did you do? And I went and looked. No damage. It's all nice. I don't want to like discover something really bad all of a sudden. But so far, the one thing that I was worried that he would go through is this trash can because it's so short. It seems like you were pretty good. I'm making dinner right now at 9.41. I eat dinner so late all the time. Anyway, I'm gonna make some tonkotsu ramen here. I like these noodles from Sun Ramen. They sent me like a whole bunch of ramen, if you remember. These are really nice, they're like premium noodles. Check it out. They're like soft noodles. It comes with a soup base already. It's awesome, so I'm just gonna boil some Napa cabbage here, and I got some pork belly defrosting right now. I'm excited, I haven't had tonkotsu ramen in a long time. Tonkotsu, by the way, is more tasty broth because it's a pork broth, so it's like a whitish color. It tastes so good. So I'm watching some BF First GF right now. So delicious, look at these noodles. So tonkotsu ramen noodles have like are like a specific kind of ramen noodles versus like shoyu ramen noodles, which is or the soy sauce ramen noodles or the tantan ramen noodles. So check it out, these are like more white. The other ones are like more eggy looking. Bam, ramen is complete. I'm getting pretty good at this. It only takes me about five minutes to make deliciosos ramen. The pork broth, it's white-ish color. See you guys afterwards. Look, I got the stuff, I found it. 
It was on BF versus GF, gonna try it out. Just looks like a Kit Kat bar. Okay, it tastes really good. And only a dollar seventy-nine for a whole box. Mmm, it's so crispy and so soft. Little Debbie, you're gonna get everybody fat. So I'm playing my YouTube video on the Wii U of Gatsby, and he's going crazy. He's like, "What is this?" Apparently, it just mirrors it on here. <laughs> What is this? I think it's time to give Mr. Crocodile here. It's like crinkly here and it makes a noise and it squeezes it. The crocodile's name is gonna be Lyle. <laughs> what is this madness? That's you. Do you know that? And now it's time for an intimate moment with Ryan and Gatsby. Do you know that's for you? Does this make any sense? That's you, and that's me. Thank you. <laughs> it didn't really work. Where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? <laughs> Look at them. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>